Good Monday evening, everybody. July 29th. Beautiful day. Oh my God. For July, we had like 68 degrees today. A little breeze. <laughs> Unfortunately, I spent most of it at that job thing, but tonight we're going to jump in the Argo, head out to the cabin, cut the grass, uh, make sure everything's okay out there. I haven't had much time to spend out there this summer. Trying to do a little something here and a little something there. Time can sure get away from you in a hurry. Um, so we're going to head out to the cabin to cut the grass tonight. I have not cut the grass all summer, so full disclosure, it's probably going to be bad. We got some parts coming for the baler. It actually smoked the chain pretty good. I gotta get a guy, uh, probably get an idler sprocket for it. A few other things. Um, there's no shortage of projects around here, let me tell you. We're gonna have to assess the stain on the cabin this year yet. If that's gotta get stained, we're gonna have to do that this fall. So yeah, let's hop in the Argo, take a ride, shall we? All right, so we're on the island halfway between the farm and the cabin, checking out the blueberries. You can see down here, we got some green ones yet. We got a few that are turning. I think another few days, maybe a week, will be good. We got some small raspberry plants that are coming in. They're only about a foot high, but they're trying to yield about 30 berries a piece. That's not going to work. Look at this guy. It's only about a foot tall. So, we got to uh, do a little homework and see if we can cultivate a few of these raspberry plants, get them into a better area where they'll actually grow. Katie can do that. She's got that. Right, babe? Sure. You got that? All right. See? She's got it. So, we'll be back out here before too long picking berries, I'm guessing. Right? Yeah. All right. Let's go to the cabin and mow the grass. That over there should be the lawn as you can see the cabin through the woods there so i got a small hay field and that <sighs> nothing like making work for myself right so let's see how this goes shall we your flies you got a little schmutz on you there okay i'm gonna get that push mower fired up and get to it good thing it's only about the size of a football field all together we got some mow over here on the other side of the garden well we may as well mow the old garden here too because we're gonna have to get the tiller back out here and turn this over this fall the trail around there all the way up around to the cabin goes around this brush loop here that needs to get cleared out there's a big patch of brush and stuff so, we'll start clearing back as we go. I'm going to go try to find some bug spray. All this. We'll see what happens. This might take me a while. Somebody should really cut their grass. Slacker. I'm a slacker. I got told I was a slacker. So, all that sitting, our, sitting around I do in the tractor. That's, that's when I should be cutting the grass. <laughs> so, I'm going to get to it. Well, it's looking more like a yard and less like a jungle or a hay field. Um, we got some stuff back here to clean up. I don't know if that was a horse fly or a hornet. But we got some wood in there to clean up. We do have, I do have to finish the balcony up there yet this fall. And a little bit of chinking left on the cabin to redo but we gotta go down here and finish mowing off in the west side of the cabin. But it's getting better. Oh, I got that deer fly. Deer flies. I'll have to get back out here this weekend. 
I really want to start cutting into this brush and start getting that out of there and cut the stumps down and get it where I can mow all this back, everything back here. It's probably two football fields worth of grass to mow by the time I'm all done, but it'd be, uh, be nice to get it all mowed. So I'm going to finish out work until dark, getting that mowed over there in front of the cabin. We'll come out here this weekend and probably mow the backside of the garden there, the trail that runs alongside of it, and then it go, goes out toward the drainage ditch that way, and then we'll wrap it back around to the cabin. We'll get all that mowed up this weekend and uh, start cutting some brush, cutting some trees down. We got plenty of stuff to do out here. We got to get a whole winter's worth of firewood cut yet, too. And there ain't no, uh, there ain't no firewood processor, no wood splitter, none of that out here. You got an axe and a chainsaw, and away you go. So, we'll see what happens. Hopefully we can get that done. Probably two or three weekends worth of cutting wood. Okay, well, it's about quarter after 9 p.m. If you look... Through the pine trees right there, phone enhances the light a little bit, but we're racing daylight now. The old uh, MTD 20 inch push mower got her done. Old Briggs and Stratton 3.5 Classics. It's a good engine, I don't care who you are. I actually got that on a freebie on the side of the road. Brought it home, one pole, the damn thing ran. I've been using it for three years out here grinding stumps off i haven't even sharpened the blade it does a pretty good job but um for some damn reason the recoil on it you can't let the cord go all the way in while you're cutting because it wants to grab the cord out of the recoil and suck it into the flywheel i can't for the life of me figure out why that happens now it's not the end of the world because right now i just pull start it leave the cord all the way out tie it to the handlebar and call it good but I, I don't know. There's some things in life I just don't understand. Why the cord gets sucked into the flywheel on the lawnmower and women. But whatever. So I'm going to go grab a bite to eat, drink a cold beer, and call it a night. I do appreciate you guys watching. Like, subscribe, comment, share. Ring my bell, get my notifications. Turn that subscribe button gray. We'll see you guys again the next time.